What is not in dispute about what happened inside Barnhart Elementary is that the seven-year-old second grader was in a life-threatening situation in a school bathroom. It was dangerous and terrifying for him and his family. According to sources, this is how things played out in that school bathroom. There was a stall door like this one that opened outward. It had a clothes hanging hook like this one. The second grader was wearing a hoodie. It was caught on that hook. The boy suspended in air, choking on the front of his own sweatshirt. The school's principal finding him, getting him down into the hospital, putting out an initial statement that the incident was the result of, quote, horseplay involving the second grader and another student who we now know to be an 11 year old fourth grader. Reliving it, it's hard. Like seeing my grandson, it's, it's hard. That is the boy's grandmother speaking out but asking not to be shown or identified. He's so little and just knowing what happened and just trying to picture or imagine him hanging. The boy's mother on the phone, rejecting the notion that this was two kids playing. That this was no horse playing. I want my child's voice to be heard. I want to be my child's biggest advocate. So she posted on Instagram that her son was hanged in school. The post going viral with hundreds of thousands of views, many believing it a racially motivated incident. But the children are both the same race and the family is now asking for calm. It's not a hate crime, but it's something that shouldn't have happened. We've asked the Charles County School System for answers about how it happened, about supervision and bullying. The superintendent sending out a statement saying that they are still investigating. The good news is the second grader is now home. He has some bruising, but is on the mend. The only saving grace is that he's here. In Waldorf, Brad Bell, 7 News.